Ovet coming again. Ovet beginning to ease up and the crowd beginning to sense it. Ovet really having a run and so too is Wegler. The big three are at the front. And now it's a race for home. 70 yards. Wegler goes past the pin. Ovet goes past Walker. Walker looks and recognises that he's dead. Wegler coming on Ovet's shoulder. But it's Ovet's day today. And Walker will be reduced to fourth place. Ovet first, Wegler second, Nolan third, Walker is fourth, Mike Cairns is fifth, the arms aloft, the trademark of Steve Ovet as he claims a new United Kingdom national record. Wins still going ahead, the East German closing on him, Bessinghaga, Mamontov, Ovet's way at the back, he's got an awful lot of work to do, the sprinting has already started, but Ovet has started as well. He's moved into fourth. He's on Bessinghager's shoulder. There's 200 metres to go, but there's still a lot of work. Bessinghager on the shoulder of the pin. Who's being rod on? Oh, it's moved into third. Panola leads. Bessinghager second. Oh, it in third. Then Straub. Oh, it's out on the outside. And the pin's still going to line across. And Ovid oh, moves into the lead. And leaves all but Bessinghager for dead. And then leaves Bessinghager. Britain has his first six. Is Bessinghager second? That really was quite a left shoulder to see where Walker is. And watching Bessinghager on his right. Dave Hill of Canada having a real run at this. And over it goes. Bessinghager chases. Walker's box. Pulls himself out but has lost six yards. And there's one man's blazing speed that has caused this field of thunder. Over it for Great Britain and for Europe. And he really is tearing round. And Walker stops and pulled out. Over it looks to see who else is in the race. The wave is there. The confidence is there. And he's now chasing an incredibly fast time. Will the European record fall? He's just outside. A marvellous run. A sensational run. A British record for Thank Stephen Ovid. He's now four metres clear, five metres clear, six metres clear, and Moorcroft looks round for trouble. He's in third place. Ovid is away and clear, and this could be Britain's first gold medal in these championships. He's got to keep driving, but surely nothing can stop him now, and he's already celebrating. Ovid wins in customary style. In second place, even Toxin of Ireland, and third is Moorcroft of Great Britain. Fourth, Bessie Yarder, five, Logan, and six with Mario. Seven was Straub. A magnificent piece of running by Ovid, and there's no doubt at all that his strength is upwards rather than downwards. He stepped down to two. two back. It's Rono versus Ovid. Down to two. And listen to this crowd. An absolute sellout. And Rono goes again. And still Ovid's right there with him. 220 metres left. Kenya versus Britain. Rono doing everything he can to shake the tail off, but the shadow is still there. Stalking the Kenyan all the way. Now what has Ovid got left? Has Rono drawn the finish? No, he hasn't. And here comes Ovid on the near side, and he's making it look ridiculous. The world record holder destroyed there by Ovid. The wave to his parents in the crowd. He wins it. Rono second, and Brendan Foster's world record has gone to Steve Owen. 8 minutes 13.5, compared with Foster's 8 minutes 13.7. Magnificent running by a man who is becoming a machine. Carrying Florida. Messinghager still leading, battling on. And what can Owen find? 2.50 to go, and Coe's record under real threat. And Messinghager hasn't finished. 200 to go. Ovet has broken it. The German digging in behind. But Ovet kicks again, and this time the kick is decisive. He's six metres clear, and coming in at the really straight. The world record, three minutes, 49 seconds, and Ovet comes away down the straight. It's going to be very, very close. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. And he's just missed the world record by 0.6 of a second. Ovet versus Robson. 250 metres left. The world record, 3 minutes 32.1. And Sebastian Coe here in the Belgian stadium watching. The figure's in real danger. Ovet so close to breaking the mile record and now so close to the 1,500 metres.
The record, 3.32. And Elvin still coming away. Second is Robson. And he's going to be very, very close. And it's so close. Second place was Robson. And third comes up. Now it's Steve Cram chasing him. Cram will be looking to consolidate that position rather than the race over it. He wouldn't want to be overtaken in the closing stages by Williams. Fifty meters left. 45, 46, 47, 48. Steve Graham in second place. Graham Williams in third. And what a magnificent night. Walkers in his trail, coming up fast, the West German, Dr. Wessinghager, overtakes the Olympic champion. He's on Ovid's shoulder now. Ovid moves out and moves away, and the Americans lost for speed, and Wessinghager goes after him. And if he keeps his pace up, then the 3.32 one of Sebastian Coe is not safe. Look at that, five yards has opened up. The crowd going wild. Ovid looks over his shoulder, and conscious of the time, conscious of winning, the racer that he is, running over his nonchalant way to the crowd and Walker and Bessinghager having a battle for second place it's going to be remarkably fast Bessinghager second Walker is third Lacey is fourth Scott's challenge is run out Williamson finished fast for Great Britain but all eyes now and we've got our watch stopped at 3.32.1 it's geared up now of Russia Steve Ovet in second place and Coe's got an awful lot to do he's coming from a long way back but they've been all over the place in this race. It's been a running battle. Kirov leads. Ovet second. Ko is beaten surely. Ovet hits the front. And Ko can't get through. Steve Ovet coming home to take the gold medal for Great Britain. To beat Sebastian Ko against the silver. Kirov gets the bronze. Ovet with 15 to 20 metres to spare. Looking back anxiously again. He's beginning to feel the pain. And really he's beginning to feel being alone for so long. Running right away, though, from the former world record holder, John Walker. World record, a vet world record, 348.8. Not quite good enough, but a fast run, nevertheless. And that uh, Walker and uh, Scott absolutely still improving all the time. The American number one speed, Scott, and they're punching for the attack. 250 metres left, and Scott makes the break. Ovet goes with Scott, and Ovet fights him off and holds the curve. Pecking Harder looking strong, the West German in third place, delays his four, John Walker five, and it's Scott, the American number one, and the British world record holder together. Pecking Harder is behind them now, just over 80 metres to go, and Ovet kicks away in front, and the American struggle. Ovet out and clear, Scott in second place, Ovet looks for trouble, but they're not closing. Steve Ovet wins the golden bar for the second time. Second is Scott, and a photograph for third place, between Walker and Bessinghardt. Hudak in third place, fullback is beaten, and Ovet staring at the tape, just looked back to see where Bessinghardt was, and Ovet wins, Bessinghardt second, Hudak third, fullback four, Khalifa five, and David Walker comes through in sixth place, and the time, a new world record. Oh, the curve but can't, and Ovet hits the front now with just over 200 to go. Has he got that kick at his speed? Bessinghardt begins to struggle and rock and roll in second place, and John Walker improves. The barrel just in New Zealand, uh, the former world record holder, in a position to attack Ovet. But Ovet is away now and clear. Ovet strikes for the line, looks back. The danger has evaporated, really, and he's going to win this one fairly easily. Gonzalez Scott battling it out for second place. Ovet wins, Gonzalez second, Scott third. In fourth place was Walker. Fifth, I think, was Cram, with Todd Harbour very close to him. And just behind them was Robson, followed by Eamon Cochran. The time, 3.49 points. Oh, here's the aggression, and he goes right away from John Walker, but the time at 1,200 was 2.52.10, which is two seconds down on Koblenz. So he's got to run the best final 300 metres of his career if he's to beat his world record of 3.31.36. Tremendous appreciation from the crowd, as is to be expected, as he comes into the home straight, showing really fine form, just a look round, but nobody's near him. He's against the clock alone, just as Coe was yesterday, and just as with Coe, it's going to be very, very close as he comes to the tape. Walker finishing in second place, Hudak went backwards, and I don't believe it. The time is exactly the same, 
as co yesterday, 3.31, 9 o'clock. Looking absolutely majestic. He does have a look to see if anyone's there, but who could possibly be there? Over it into the home straight. There'll be no cheering to the crowd now. It really is a battle against the clock, and he's still on schedule. It's very close indeed, as Ovid comes up to the line in another magnificent run. But what will he do on the clock? And it's there or thereabouts. Khalifa battles for second place against Joe Walker, but nobody can tell Ovid what he's done. And we think it may be marginally outside. The 3.31, 3.6, Stands, I'm sure, the official time we have, 3.31.57, he's missed it. In, in second place, Craig Masbach now is third for America. Fires is fourth, and David Warcroft fifth. He so enjoys the personal battle against fellow competitors. But now it's Ovet against the unforgiving finger of the Rocks. A really... Majestic full stride still. And he's inside of the record beyond doubt. The last lap he had to run inside, 58 seconds. He's still kicking hard, a bit heavy leg, but the strength is still there. 348.53 to beat. And the world record is gone. He's just inside it. The new figures, unofficially, 348.4. And Steve Ovet, within seven days, gives Sebastian Coe his three, three laps, and then they've got three quarters to go. And there goes Ovet on the outside now with the big kick. He's 250 metres from home, and Walker follows. Walker, no doubt, angered by that incident just before the bell. Graham Williamson in third place. Pecker with Wessinghager, the two West Germans together. And Ovet really showing his class on that top end. He's coming right back to form and going right away. The world record figure, 331.24 to Marie. And he's, uh, well, he's going to be pushed to do that. But he's winning this race in tremendous style. Storming down the straight. He's run a magnificent last lap. The crowd really enjoying this. Outside the world record, but a great win. Yvette wins, Walker second. Becker third, Bessigaga four, Williamson five. The time, 332.93. Sprint is made off the last bend. And if he's feeling happy, he salutes the crowd. Hutchins looks for Ovet, and he's there and gone. The victory wave from Steve Ovet again as he wins his first ever. <laughs>